Hey everyone, I am sewing a cute polka dot skirt for my daughter. It's got an elastic waistband, but I don't want that to scare you. Sewing with elastic and attaching it to fabric can be a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna show you tricks and techniques for making it easy peasy. I'm using a sheer fabric for the skirt base, and based on my daughter's height, she's only two, I've drafted six pieces three that are 25 centimeters by 115 centimeters, that's 10 inches by 45 inches, and another three that are 30 centimeters by 115 centimeters, which is 12 inches by 45 inches. I also drafted a piece of lightweight cotton polyester to 17 centimeters by 60 centimeters, which is six and a half inches by 24 inches, and that's for the waistband. You'll also need wide elastic, a serger set to a rolled or narrow hem, and a threaded sewing machine. I put a walking foot on my sewing machine to make sewing this sheer fabric easier. Serge a rolled or narrow hem on one long edge of each skirt base piece. I chose to do this in a contrast thread as a decorative detail. Once you've finished each of the six skirt base pieces, you're ready to serge them together. I change my machine back to black thread. Serge the short ends of the skirt base pieces together, combining the three narrow pieces into one long row, and then the three wider pieces into a second long row. Next, change your sewing machine to a based stitch. By keeping the walking foot on my machine, my lightweight fabric will gather while I baste. I've laid the two long skirt rows on top of each other, right sides up, with the narrower row on top, and I'm gathering them together at the waist. See, there are my layered hems and my gather. Next, I want to attach my waistband piece. My waistband will sit on top like this, so I'll flip it down in order to sew right sides together and pin that in place. Then sew it. Because my daughter's waist is teeny tiny and the elastic won't stretch out this long, I'm running it through the machine again, this time as a baste in order to gather the fabric even more. Cut the elastic to one inch smaller than the waist measurement and pin the elastic in place. Pin either end, then match up the centers. On this sewing machine, numbers 13 and 14 are my two and three step zigzag stitch for sewing elastic. I'm using 14 since my elastic is medium to heavy weight. Layer your elastic on top of the waistband and sew along the leftmost side of the elastic. Make sure you stretch your elastic as you sew. You'll need two hands while doing this. Stretch your elastic as you sew, but still allow the feed dogs to do their job. You're using your hands to guide and stretch the fabric without pulling or adding resistance. Pull out all of your basting stitches. Then serge the raw edge of your waistband. Next, fold the waistband over the elastic to the skirt wrong side. You'll stitch in the ditch, which will create a top stitch on the inside of the skirt, holding the waistband in place. Again, stretch your elastic while sewing and make sure the waistband stays wrapped over the elastic. Start and end your stitch in the ditch about an inch away from the ends of the elastic. And this is what it looks like. Next, overlap the two loose elastic ends and zigzag them together. Flip the skirt inside out and serge together the opening. You'll now fold the waistband ends into each other to hide any remaining raw edges and do one final stitch in the ditch to secure them. 
And here it is, her super adorable skirt. I'm so happy with how it turned out. See, easy. <laughs>